I guess you could say I started my journey through Christ in the second grade when I was baptized. Through my life, I had found courage in Christ. Moving taught me a lot. Seeing all the different lifestyles showed me that everyone was different and I needed to be courageous to make new friends. When I moved to Clay Center, Kansas, it was a blessing but a curse. When I first got here, I didn't wait my usual week to go back to school. They gave me a tour of the school and I jumped right in. We also went to church that week and Brenda told me that if I wanted to go, there was youth group that night. Throughout middle school, I was prob probably the closest I had ever been to God because that was when I found out how judgmental people could be. I was called gay pretty much all throughout middle school, but the strength of God grew in me and gave me the courage I needed to go to school every day. As I kept going to school, I realized I didn't care what people thought of me. I was being me, and that is all that matters. Until this day, I still go to the First Baptist Youth Group, and the kids there that go there are closer to me than you can ever imagine. The way I showed my courage for God was participating in starting a weekly prayer group with my youth group. We decided to start this prayer group after we had seen Hannah and Gina Ford at Jamboree in 2012. They taught us to be bold in our faith. When we got back home, we talked to our pastor and principal and arranged to have a prayer once a week before school out by the picnic tables. We posted it to Facebook to come and texted as many people as we could. I was happy with the first turnout but I knew there could be more. Once again, we talked to as many people as we could and told them to bring their friends. Eventually, we gained a pretty big group. It was such a blessing to our youth group to see people being bold in their faith, just like we were. I showed my courage for God by joining the youth group in 2011. I have been friends with Hannah Callen since preschool. She had seen that I was having a hard time and asked if I belonged to a youth group. When I answered no, she asked if I ever wanted to go to hers. At first, I said no because I had little knowledge about God and I was nervous. When I finally answered yes, I loved it. On February 10th, 2012, our youth group went to acquire the fire. That was the first time I experienced God. It was so powerful to experience God that way. While we were there, a guy named Tristan had saw me and Lindley praising our God, and he came over and asked to pray for us many times. This really touched me, and still to this day, me and Tristan keep in touch. ATF was one of the best times of my life. I was so excited to go to ATF this year, on February 1st. I always have fun hanging out with, my, with our youth group. It's always great praising our God with a group of people as special as them. If anyone has the chance to go to, a, go to ATF, they should go at least once. And this year we get to go to Winter Jams. I can't wait for that. I will never forget my first ATF experience.